Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gary with just another fan TV. Man, I got another video like the content of this video. Go ahead, smash that like button, like the content on this channel. Go ahead, hit subscribe, man. Ravens content coming at you on a daily basis. And uh, some interesting news that it doesn't really, it's not really about Lamar Jackson, but it's about Lamar Jackson. All right. So, pretty much, you know, the Denver Broncos just paid uh, Russell Wilson uh, a new contract, a new five year deal, $245 million, $165 million guaranteed. Now, this is right off the bat of, obviously, Kyler Murray's contract, which was $230.5 million with $160 million guarantee. Now, the reason that this person is Lamar Jackson is because the rumor is that, you know, he may want a guaranteed contract. Now, while I think Lamar Jackson is deserving of a guaranteed contract because if a guy like Deshaun Watson can get it, then Lamar Jackson, who's a better player, no off-the-field issues, a leader of the franchise, he's definitely worth that kind of money. But... The market dictates what you get, you know, fair as it unfair as that may be. That's just how it is. And the owners are sending a clear message, right? They don't want to pay players fully guaranteed contracts of this high amount. Now, obviously, we've seen guys like Kirk Cousins get eighty four million dollars guaranteed, something like that. But this high amount of, you know, two hundred million dollars plus owners are being a little skeptical of doing that. All right. Um, right or wrong, you know. Uh, to me, I think the players are worth it. They, they, if they're worth that contract, you should give it to them. But you can only go off what the market dictates. And right now, the market is dictating that Lamar Jackson's contract um, is not going to be the amount that he may have thought it was going to be, right? And I, we don't know what Lamar We don't know what Lamar thinks. And I, I'm not even going to try to speculate into that. So I shouldn't even have said that, honestly. Because everybody tries to get into his head about, oh, he's digging this, digging that. When honestly, until he says it out his mouth himself, we're all guessing. We're all just speculating. But uh, for the Ravens' point of view, a good contract for Lamar Jackson. I said Russell Wilson got two forty-five. Russell Wilson is thirty-three years old. He is the he's on the probably on the decline. You know he could have a career year in Denver. We shall see. Uh, well, not a career year, but uh, a rejuvenation of his career in Denver. Uh, we shall see. But Lamar Jackson is younger. I think he's what twenty-five. Um, better at this point in his career, and he's up for a contract, so it's time for him to get paid, right? So. For me, a good deal for the Ravens and for Lamar Jackson, $250 million or so $255, whichever one. I think $250 is about right. Uh, and about $190 to $200 million guaranteed. That puts him way above Kyler, which is where he should be, and puts him above Russell Wilson as well. Now, obviously, you got to have the um, the per years as well. Like Russell Wilson, his per year was about, I think it's like 49.1, something like that. So about $3 million above Kyler Murray's, but just under Aaron Rodgers. Now, with Lamar Jackson's contract, he could go to that $50 million range, you know. Um, but it's just interesting because I don't know how much the Ravens and Lamar Jackson are talking. Obviously, he's been there a lot. It's camp. You know, he's in Baltimore, right? But it just doesn't seem like there's much traction going on. And now, we know that Lamar Jackson had gave the Ravens a cutoff date. And that cutoff day is presumably going to be next week. Because yeah, I would assume, right, like I said, it's all assumptions around Lamar Jackson because, you know, he keeps everything tight and close to the vest. But I would assume that he wants the full week to prepare on the New York Jets. No distractions, right? We, we on football. So from September 1st on, not, not September 1st, I'm sorry, September 4th, because that will put a week out from the game. No distractions. We all football, right? Um, that's what I would think Lamar Jackson would be saying if, if I'm gonna have a cutoff date, I think September 4th is that kind of date. A full week, no distractions, all New York Jets. Um, so the Ravens, the, t the clock is ticking. It only leaves a couple of days. In my opinion, I don't see the deal getting done before the season starts. Uh, I, hopefully, I am wrong. But the deal was going to get done. I think they would have did it during the course of training camp. I mean, there's no reason not to do it then. He's talking to them every day, presumably. He's always there. You know, it's hard to say how can a deal not get done when you're talking to somebody every single day. But listen, contract negotiations are tough, right? Now, Lamar Jackson can say, listen, I want this or that. And then the Ravens can point out, say, hey, look, man, what Deshaun Watson got from the Browns was an outlier. The Cardinals proved it. The Broncos proved it. The Cardinals have a young quarterback, Kyler Murray, not, a good, not as good as Lamar Jackson, but in a comparable age range, and that was up to get paid. And he got $160 million guaranteed. The, the Broncos got a superstar quarterback, older than Lamar Jackson. There's never going to be a perfect comparison, but a guy who's older than Lamar Jackson, Super Bowl winner, who has been an elite quarterback for, you know, numerous amounts of years, Russell Wilson, and he got $165 million guaranteed, okay? Now, Lamar Jackson, to me, 
he should get a guaranteed contract. He's worth it to the Ravens. He's worth it to the NFL, honestly, because you don't think the NFL wants to have a, a different face on a guaranteed contract than what Deshaun Watson's going through. You know what I'm saying? So he's worth it from all aspects, right? Play on the field, person he is off the field, character. He checks all the boxes, so he's worth that kind of money. But you could tell from the very beginning that guys like Steve Bashadi, all the owners were upset with Deshaun Watson's contract, and now they're doing their hardest to not let that happen again. Now, this could play out in a, in a, in a significant amount of ways, right? Ravens could sign Lamar Jackson before the season. Ravens could Ravens and Lamar could play out this entire year and see where it goes from there. Sign a contract next offseason. Franchise tag, which is the route I don't want the Ravens to go. I really prefer them not to franchise tag them because that that is something that, that could sour a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Lamar Jackson is the franchise, and instead of giving him the long-term deal, you pay, you pay more money on the franchise tag. It just doesn't make sense. Um, he could wait to see what guys like Burrow and Herbert get. Maybe. Uh, but still, even guys like Burrow, Herbert, guys who could quote-unquote traditional drop-back passers, right? Even though Lamar is a drop-back passer. They probably won't get fully guaranteed deals either. You know, the Browns owner, sorry, not the Browns, sorry, the Bengals owner, Paul Brown, is notoriously known for being cheap. Uh, one of the reasons that, that they changed the stadium name is to get more, uh, get an uh, influx of cash in. You know, it, it's a family run business, right? So from when he was the owner to, you know, who's in charge now, they've never been guys to spend big like that, right? Uh, these last couple seasons have been an anomaly for the Bengals. Um, and for the Chargers, you know, they've had good quarterbacks in the past and they've, and they've paid them. But I just don't think that fully guaranteed deals at this point is a strong indication that like, this is where the market is going. It's just no proof for that. Like, Deshaun Watson got bailed out by a desperate organization in a desperate situation. Okay? And the Ravens are not that. Um, now, Lamar Jackson has... It's going to have a lot of suitors if he was ever to hit the open market, and we know that. So I'm hoping it doesn't get to that point. I'm hoping that with these new, um, with these two new deals, with Kyler Murray getting paid, with Russell Wilson getting paid, that Lamar Jackson and Ravens can come to a table, can come to the table, say, "Hey, look, 190 million dollars, 200 million dollars, fully guaranteed, uh, not fully guaranteed, but but guaranteed with on a 250 million dollar contract, right? Highest paid player in the league, highest paid quarterback." Um, and with the second most, you know, guarantees, right? I think that that's a good deal for where the current climate of the market is right now. Now, whether Lamar Jackson wants that or not, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, he's worth getting paid. And I, listen, if you feel like he should fight for the fully guaranteed deal, then go ahead and fight for it. You know what I mean? But we also got to know what the market says. What the market says is what the owners are going to do. And, you know, not, not to keep repeating it, but from the moment Deshaun Watson signed that contract, all the NFL owners were upset with the Cleveland Browns. All of them. And that's just a fact. It is. So that, that can mean nothing for Lamar Jackson, right? So, like, you know, uh, like RG3, RG3 had, a, had a, a post on Twitter, right? Russell Wilson deal means nothing to Lamar Jackson, but everything to the Ravens and the rest of the league. Teams don't want to fully guarantee deals and hate the Deshaun Watson contract. So, you know, anything goes on to say Lamar has earned the right to ask, which he has. But the part that's in there is teams don't want to do that. Teams hate the Deshaun Watson contract. So they don't want these owners, they all friends or whatever. They don't want to be the guy, the next billionaire to give a guy a fully guaranteed deal. They don't want to set that precedent. Um, now, I personally don't care what the owners do. Uh, they got enough money to, to afford these kind of contracts. But at the end of the day, you got to go with what the market dictates. And I hope, I hope that the Ravens and Lamar Jackson can get a deal done. I don't, like I said, I don't think it will be this season. Um, I think it will be next season if a deal is done. Uh, so hopefully we'll see where it goes from there. I mean, I would love to get a surprise notification that the Ravens have signed Lamar Jackson to a big time contract, locking him up for the next four or five years, whatever the contract length may be, and that we get to rolling from there because he's worth it. Lamar Jackson's impact to this franchise is not just, he's obviously he's a great football player, all right? He's the best offensive player the Ravens have ever had. That's a fact. I'm sorry. It is. 
He's one of the most talented players the Ravens have ever had, too. You know, obviously up there with the, you know, the Ed Reeds and the Ray Lewis's and the Terrell Suggs. So you, to let a talent like that walk would be a catastrophic error on a part of the Ravens franchise, on a part of that front office, EDC, Steve Bashali. That would be a colossal mistake. So they have to do everything they can to keep Lamar Jackson in the building. We got to remember where the Ravens were before Lamar Jackson came in. You know what I mean? We were a middle end franchise. Uh, we weren't doing we weren't doing too well. We weren't up to that Ravens standard that we were used to in that first half of Joe Flacco's career. That's that back half of Joe Flacco's career. A lot of mediocre times. Lamar Jackson took over instantly six and one. John Harbaugh gets a contract extension. John Harbaugh gets another contract extension, right? So just to say that the Ravens philosophy is strong enough, the Ravens can do enough without Lamar Jackson. That's that's a fairy tale land, man. It's a fairy tale land. It is, and we know that if Greg Roman is going to continue to be here. I think this person. I think this is his last season. But let's just say he continues to be here. It ain't too many guys in Lamar Jackson that run the system. It's not. Now you can point out he, he's a better quarterback than Kaepernick. He's a better quarterback than than Tyrod Taylor. Um, and you say, oh yeah, these guys in college they they do it well. All right, that's fine. But. How many years is it going to take them to get to the level of Lamar Jackson that he is at right now? So, the Ravens, I don't know what the holdup is on either side, whether it's Lamar, whether it's the Ravens. Uh, I hope they can come to an agreement, come to the table and say, hey, look, man, Ray, listen, Lamar has said nothing, but he wants to be here. And I know the Ravens want Lamar Jackson here. So, let's, let's get the middle ground figured out and come to the table and sign a contract. So, that's my opinion. On, on what's going on with Lamar Jackson. I really don't like to point on Lamar Jackson's contract unless there's really is significant news or new news to report. Like him going back and forth on Twitter about they didn't offer him $250 million. That didn't bother me. Because if somebody tells a lie about your name, you're supposed to respond to it. So that was that was, that was was fine to me about Lamar Jackson. I didn't care about that. Um, so I feel like this Russell Wilson contract was significant news. News enough to report on it. Um, so that's what I did, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Give me your opinion. Just another fan TV. I'm out.